so that you don't have to worry about whether you're muted or not. But at any point, you can unmute yourself if you need to, want to. And we are going on to, you know, this I, it gets more and more exciting. It's more and more fun as we go along, don't you think? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So <laughs> we're now going to talk about the welcoming prayer practice. So how do we do this? So I love this practice. And one of the things I love about this practice is that we all come to it in a different way and that we're all opening up to God in our own ways. So just like these roses, we have these beautiful roses and sometimes a rose is fully open and sometimes a rose is just a bud. Sometimes it's in between. Sometimes buds don't even open. They're still beautiful, but they don't open. And this is how I feel about my welcoming prayer practice. Sometimes I do the welcoming prayer and I feel like I've opened up and I've been able to let go and God is there and I get the divine indwelling. And sometimes I'm a little bud that's never going to open. And that's all fine. This is about your journey, connecting and being in the divine indwelling. So here we go to Margie's favorite quote, which she's gonna read for us again. I've unmuted you. To welcome and to let go is one of the most radically loving faith-filled gestures we can make in each moment of each day. It is an open-hearted embrace of all that is in ourselves and in the world. <sighs> so how do we do this? Well, the, the welcoming prayer has three movements. The first movement is this embodied movement where we feel and sink into the body. We sense the body experience in the moment. We have things that are in our tissues that are from life. The issues are in the tissues throughout our lives. We have all of these things. And we're, we're Christians. We, we know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. We, we know this already. So knowing this, then we have this incredible vehicle that we've been given to allow us to consent to the divine and dwelling, to sense what's going on in the world, to sense our past, present, and the divine in this moment. So now we're going to do our very first body scan. So get comfy. Settle into your chair. I'm, I'm standing up, so I'm going to move around a little bit because that's how I get comfy. You might be laying down. However you're doing it, it is perfect for you. And if partway through you need to change and do it a different way, that's good too. So we've been sitting a while, so if some of you may want to do this body scan standing, however you do it, it's your, it's your body scan. So I recommend with your eyes closed or a soft focus so that you feel safe, that you know where you are in the world. And we're going to start at our feet. Feeling your feet connecting to the earth. You may be in shoes and socks, you may be bare feet. Notice your feet, the toes. And we come from our feet up to our ankles. Moving them a bit may have you find your feet and ankles. Coming up the calves and the shins. And as we notice, just notice anything as you feel and sink into this part of your body. This is a sensation experience. You come to your knees. thighs, hips, creation parts, the heart part you may be sitting on, or we often sit on, 
your back. Notice the sensation. If you're in a chair, notice the sensation in the chair. If you're standing, notice the sensation under your feet. Notice the sensation of the, the room around you, the space around you. It may be cold, it may be warm, you may have a tingling sensation. Just notice them. You need to change them, address them, or identify them even. Just notice them. Coming up the body, the now, the space between your rib cage and your pico. Notice. Coming up the body, the torso, notice the breath. Is your breath slow, fast, deep, shallow? Just notice. It's all about noticing and welcoming what we notice. Welcome. Notice as we come to the heart, the rhythm of the heart. Fast or slow, noticing, embracing. The sensation, the arms, the shoulders, the connections of the arms into the shoulders, the upper arms, the biceps and the triceps, the elbows, the forearms, the wrist, the hands fingers, into the throat, noticing the breath flowing in the throat, with spoken and unspoken words and images, the back of the neck, the connection of the neck into the shoulders. Perhaps lift your shoulders and drop them. Notice if there's any sounds or sensations as you do that. Coming to the face. Let's go to the top of the head. Notice any tension in the head. Is there a space? Right now I feel it between my eyebrows. Notice the forehead, that space between your eyebrows. The ears and around the ears. The nose, the mouth, the lips, the jaw, and the breath. Breath is coming in, coming out. The breath, perhaps place your tongue at the roof of your mouth so you feel that relaxation throughout your body, this bodily sensation. As we're going to progress with the body scans and as we do this the body scan we're taking lots of time to do body scan and we're going to do several body scans as we do them the body scan is in this extended practice is about building up our recognition of knowing what's going on in our body for many of us this is not intuitive where is our body? What are we feeling? This helps us build that knowledge and experience and so that when we it's time to connect to the body, we have this experience. We, we are developing it. And when we are in this place with the body scan, 
I see this as I'm dancing with my false self. Um, Mary Morzowski talked about this, about the issues and the tissues and dancing with the false self, being okay with what's going on with our body, being here in the body. And for me, I need to do this sometimes, not just me dancing with the false self. I also love doing this practice with other people where we can really be in the place of the false self with our whole community, embracing. So take a moment, embracing, embracing. which takes us to the second movement. And the second movement is that welcoming, welcoming what you're experiencing, this moment in your body. And that welcome is an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling, an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling. So welcome, welcome, welcome. This can be a, a challenge, the welcoming what we're feeling in our body and sensing for me, knowing that it's an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling, welcoming what I'm feeling, somehow it, it, it's helpful. <laughs> it, it is the link that allows me to do this prayer. It's an active contemplative practice. It's not passive. It's not about tolerating or becoming a spiritual doormat. Welcoming is active, conscious embrace of ourselves and the situations in our everyday moments. In the book, Centering Prayer and Inner Awakenings, we hear that the teaching is, this teaching, this welcoming prayer teaching is paradoxical. Common sense tells us that it's a, an unruly emotion is the problem. And the solution is to eliminate it. But by welcoming it, welcoming this instead, you create an atmosphere of hospitality, as we as we talked about in the in the beginning there with Rumi's poem, the hospitality of welcoming all, by embracing the thing that you once defended yourself against or ran from, you're disarming it, removing its power to hurt you. So now we're going to again do a body scan, and with this body scan, we are going to take time to welcome. So comfortable again. Make yourself comfortable in your place, whatever that means for you, standing or sitting or laying, however it's best for you. Developing our skills. We'll start at the top this time. We'll start above the body, even that air, that feeling, the sensations around you. Coming to the head, feeling the sensations. Or perhaps there aren't any specific sensations you feel as you're doing this practice. That's okay. There's no right or wrong way doing it. The only wrong way to do it is to not do it. So here we go. We're in our, we're feeling our head. Is there tension? Is there relaxing? Notice your forehead. Notice your scalp. Feel and sink into that sensation. The cheeks. The jaw. Feeling your breath. Move your head a little in a way that's comfortable for you, allowing you to connect to the head and the neck. Welcoming all that you're feeling, 
welcoming any little sounds you might hear. Sensing them, feeling them, being with them. And coming into the throat, and the neck, the shoulders, where the arms connect to the shoulders. The upper arms, the biceps and triceps. Elbows. Forearms. Notice the wrist, the hands, the fingers. Moving them, even giving yourself a little massage as you feel and sink in. This is about building that body memory, knowing where is our body? How do we sense what's in this body? Coming to your torso, the heart. The rhythm of the heart. Just notice. Noticing. Feeling and sinking into that rhythm. The upper back. All through the back we have our lungs. And down the torso, the lower back, the part we sit on, in our gut or na'al, that sensation coming to the hips and the creation parts. thighs, notice any sensation, perhaps you're against a surface, this might help you sense where your legs are, the knees, calves and shins. ankles and the feet. And now, feeling the feet, now notice, is there a place, as you did your body scan, is there a place that drew your attention? And if there is, go to that place and embrace that. If there isn't, just notice, take a moment and notice, is your attention drawn somewhere? Embrace that and welcome, welcoming, welcome, welcome, welcoming this experience in this moment as the opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling indwelling presence, inner spirit, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a moment, just breathing in this welcome, sensing the divine indwelling. As we have the first movement is that feeling and sinking into the body. And the second movement is this welcoming 
consenting to the divine indwelling's presence and action in your life. And the third movement of this prayer is the letting go. We let go by saying, I let go of my desire for security, affection, control. And embrace this moment as it is. So we'll talk a little bit about this third movement, this letting go. So I know most of you are in this really deep meditative place, which is beautiful. And I'm just going to talk to this. You can keep your eyes closed. You can open them, whatever is perfect for you. We're going to have more time. We're going to do this welcoming prayer over and over. So letting go. So this may be the most difficult part of this prayer. We have a good mind and it tells us that we're right like most of the time and that other people are not so right and we know that we're right so letting go can be a challenge we have emotions and feelings and these emotions and feelings will validate these thoughts what we need to do, what we're, what we're invited to do here is to let go of whatever's happening on this internal level and surrender. So that we can see the world around us in a different way. We can see what's happening through a new filter with the divine indwelling, consenting to God's presence and action in our life. And so that we can actually see reality of what's so that we can see the reality of what's actually happening instead of perceiving things through our thoughts and feelings And so here we go. We are going again into the welcoming prayer. Isn't this like amazing to get to do this practice again and again? This is my joy in life is this practice. So again, we're going to do this with a briefer body scan this time. But I'm going to take you through the whole, well, I'm going to take you with the body scan all the way through this again. So be comfy, find a place to do it. If you need a sip of water, you need to stretch or do something. This is all about your needs, what you want, where you are in your wor world. <clears throat> so in your comfort place with your eyes closed or open this time we're going to start at the now in the center of our being so let your attention go to that place um, you might call it your gut the now in hawaiian it's the space between your rib cage and your navel and we're going there we're going to start here we we'll start in the center of our body as a different way because often when we're in the moment and we need to test it to see what's in our body, we can start in various places. And so we're practicing this by starting in different places to sense. Sometimes you're, you're, you will go right to a spot and you will know. But oftentimes, especially in the early days of trying to figure out what in my body is saying to me, I don't know. So for me, starting in the center of the na'al, this is the most likely place for me to feel emotions and sensations and anxiety and stress. So I like to start here. 
And in this practice of the body scan, we're going to come out from the na'al, from your center, from your core. Noticing the sensations. And now notice in your body, if there's a place in your body that's drawing your attention. <clears throat> For me, my attention was drawn to my shoulders because I'm carrying you all today. I feel this in my body. Let your attention go to that place in your body, scanning your body, testing your body. Let your place go to where you are gone. And notice, you might have a broken heart. There have been so many losses. You might be feeling a sensation in your body. And let your attention go there. And now, take your attention to your lower body your hips and your legs, your feet, and scan this part of your body. Notice. mind is wandering. Just remember you're in your legs and your hips and your feet. Noticing the sensations, the temperature, the air around you, sinking into the body. If you're against a surface, a chair, or a bed, or a wall, or the floor, notice. And then coming up the body to the upper body, the chest, the arms, the wrist, the hands. Taking your time. And then coming to the head and the neck. Maybe moving your head or you're lifting and dropping your shoulders. Noticing the sensations throughout Feeling your jaw, your cheeks, the eyes and the space behind the eyes. Any tension in the head. Now see where your attention goes again and welcome. Welcome that sensation wherever it might be, whatever it is. It's an opportunity consenting to the divine indwelling, welcoming the divine indwelling, welcoming the indwelling presence. And let go. I let go of my desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment. And then taking it in your own time now, the welcoming prayer, the three movements of the welcoming prayer, feeling and sinking in, 
welcome, let go. Just take a couple of minutes here.